Hello everyone and welcome to the local organizing committee presenting the, the ECTRIMS program 2024. We are very much looking forward to host you in uh, Denmark and at uh, day one we have a really tight schedule that I would uh, like to take you through together with my colleagues. Of course we have the pre ECTRIMS day focusing on, on pediatric MS, uh, MOGART and uh, NMOSD that I hope you had the time to look into. And on, on the day one uh, of, of the program, we have several important things uh, ongoing. Uh, first of all, we have the radiologically isolated syndrome that I would very much like to uh, look into. And uh, second, we have the new diagnostic criteria, criteria being presented. I personally remember almost exactly where I was when we had the past two updates of, of the diagnostic criteria, and I am much looking forward to what will be presented. Um, but I know uh, a second theme of the day is also female health, and I know all of us in, in this room are much interested in this topic. And if I could hand it over to my coach, uh, Melinda, and uh, ask you this question, how will you prioritize? You have uh, female health and menopause at the same time of uh, some of these sessions. How would you like to approach this? We have to make a choice, but luckily we can see most of the sessions on demand. So I will, uh, I will attend the menopause course because I'm really curious about the new evidence in the field and how this uh, influence therapeutic consequences and MS scores. Parallel is the MS prodrome, which is also my focus of interest. I would wait to see it on demand. In the afternoon, I will attend the new diagnostic criteria which is parallel with the MS in children and adolescents, but I really want to see the criteria in me. Interesting. There are so many things to see and prioritize. Uh, yet, how about you? How are your priorities on day one? Uh, I go for the pathogenesis, pathogenesis because I think it has not been solved as fully in MS and new, well, the new thing is the microbiome in MS and the short fatty acids, the role of this, and also EBB is not new, but there are some advanced uh, talks where how it correlates with other uh, methods we already know. So I think it's very interesting, as as you said, uh, also gradual isolated syndromes uh, and treatment of this, treat or not, is also an important issue to make the diagnosis earlier and then probably also treat earlier with the new diagnostic criteria maybe also so that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Please remember you can also watch on, on, on demand. And uh, we are, my name is Tobias Seibig and we are all looking very much forward to host you in Denmark during Actrums.